Let's talk about the navigation. So navigation has changed just a little bit in the unified interface. Um, they've actually kind of taken some steps back. If you've been around long enough, they're using some of the old things they've done, but kind of made them newer. So with the navigation itself, as I look at the, the instance here, the way we get to different pieces is all on the left-hand side. In the past, it was a drop down up above here. Well, now it's just this nice panel on the left. I can see all the different record types I have access to, all the entities, as well as if I'm looking at different pieces. So I've got my nice home button where I can get back to my dashboard at any point in time. Nice part with the home is we can actually set that to any page. If you don't want it to be a dashboard, maybe you want it to be the account view, we can set that as the home as well. I can quickly look at my recently viewed, so any recent records I've looked at or views, and similar functionality to what we had before, I can pin these. So if I wanna follow up on this record, I could pin it and it'll appear right down here in my list of pinned records. So very easy to tag records, find the records I want to, records I've recently looked at right on this one form. A couple other data points I do wanna point out then for you is as I scroll across the top, we have some of the functionality that existed before. I have my global search. One of the big differences between the Unified Interface and the Classic with our global search, instead of a box that pops up, it will take me directly to the search area. So that I can search for, you know, a datum. Oh, and I can't spell here today. I can find any of our records that associate that, what type they are, who they are, and we can actually filter them by different types of records, whether we want to look at accounts, contacts, leads, we can see that all right here. A couple other data points I want to show here is task flows. This is not a new feature. However, very few people are actually using this. Um, this is a feature that actually came out back in 2016 for mobile. They've now enabled it for the web version. Really, this allows me to do set tasks or to do items very quickly for my users. This could be things like updating a contact, uh, following up on opportunities or an after meeting appointment. Again, just really key things that we need to, our users to do on a daily basis where they can follow up with. So for example, if I wanna follow up on you know, updating contact, that'll pop up a nice panel over on the right-hand side here and kind of walk me through the steps of doing that. So if I search for a contact, let's just take Alexa here, we'll hit next. It'll pop up the fields then. So instead of going to you know, the contact list, searching for the right contact, or going from an account to a contact, I can go right to this panel, find that contact, and update the key information. You can also see that this data is segmented. Um, I don't have all the fields that we would on the account form or contact form. It's really specific to what our admins or our sales managers want us to update on a daily basis. So I can go ahead and say uh, she's married, her spouse's name is Jim, and her birth date is Thursday, and not 2019, whatever that date would be. And then go ahead and hit next. You can also see here, it now takes me to the co a company page as well. It could allow me to update the company record information right from here as well. So we do have that flexibility, which is very nice. When I'm done updating all the records I need to, I can go ahead and hit done. The other piece that's available is what we call the relationship assistant. Now relationship assistant is available in the classic interface, but we have much more flexibility in a, inside of the unified interface. If I look, click on this button here, I can go ahead and see anything that's going on. This could be things such as tasks that are overdue, opportunities closing soon, records I've had no activity with, and a great part now, they actually released an update recently, we can actually use Flow, Microsoft Flow, to create new cards. So if you have some wild aspiration that you wanna remind your rec users about, we can create our own custom cards using Flow as well. What's great with this, if I look at the information here, I wanna go instead and see all the accounts. Right from this system, I could open the account, I could send an email, I could do all those things right from here, so very nice. The other feature here, very common, we had it before, Click create, we can see the records we need to quickly create. One of the great parts about this as well is this will only show records that are inside of this instance. So only things that I have access in this app, it won't show things that are in other apps. So, and I can still customize this as well to hide things or show things as we need to. And the last piece here, if you're familiar with it, is advanced find. This is one of those features I mentioned before that is a hybrid. So when I click on it, it will actually look like the old advanced find. It does not show the new system. So that should look very familiar if you used advanced find in the past.